Hi everybody, welcome to part 2 of our 2023 coverage of Holland America's dinner food, menus, plus reviews of select dishes. Be sure to watch part 1 first if you haven't so you get an idea of the dishes that are available every night, plus some useful information as well. In this video, we'll explore the Culinary Council dinner from night number 3, plus the food from nights 4 and 5. Check them out! Arugula on top is cut in half. See the beauty inside? A little bit of sauce. Mmm, nice and crunchy outside. I taste some that is like more gourmet in terms of like big chunks of like crab meat. But this one has a really nice strong crab uh, meat flavor for sure. And the outside is very crispy. This is good. Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm gonna try this uh, coconut shrimp, fried shrimp. I can totally taste the coconut. The shrimp is kind of small, and it's the batter is uh, heavy on the batter. It's pretty good, but I think I prefer the shrimp to be a little bit bigger because the batter is basically half of the uh, amount of uh, shrimp. It has a little sweetness from the uh, coconut, which is um, kind of like savory and a little bit sweet. So if you like that, it's good, nice and crunchy. Very crunchy, almost like tempura. Zucchini bisque. Ooh, look, I see some shredded uh, apple here. And it's supposed to be some basil in it. Healthy. Healthy? <laughs> it's creamy. I don't know, I'm not a fan of the apple in there. I don't know why. It's not bad. <laughs> I'm just being honest here. Okay, folks. <laughs> There's vegetable underneath it. Stew vegetables. Ooh, it feels tender. A little bit of horseradish here. That's so tender. Mmm. And taste the sweetness of the meat. Very ultra juicy. Really good. Thumbs up. Halibut. Ooh, with some bacon here on top. Crumbs of bacon. Mashed potato underneath. Let's try to eat the uh, halibut by itself. And then we'll do mashed potato underneath. That's good. Flaky. 
because halibut sometimes if you it can easily overcook so this is good with a little bit of bacon on top not maybe not this fat part there you go yum the bacon add a little bit of 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 crunch and and flavor to it but the halibut is I can taste a little of the sweetness from halibut too. Mmm. That's good. And silky soft um, mashed potato. Oh, tempura sauce. Maybe I pour a little bit over it. I see a sweet potato. I don't know what the other ones, but I see sweet potatoes for sure. And zucchini. Mm. Oh. The vegetable tempura is really good, nice and crunchy. I probably need to dip. All right, I'm just going to do this. Because the, uh, that's the only flavor I get is from this tempura sauce. I was worried about it's getting too it's, it's too salty, but it's not. Just the udon, right here. udon. Very nice and light. Ooh, it has, it has a little kick to it. Oh, I like it. Not too not too much, but a little hint of the uh, spiciness in the background. I like these really julienne um, cut uh, tempura. Make it nice and crunchy and easy for you to pick up with the udon. Simple yet satisfying. And the udon, they cook it perfectly. Right consistency. It's good. It's a good vegetarian dish. Highly recommend this. Roasted chicken. <laughs> Gravy and uh, gnocchi. Mmm. Here's the breast. Really tender. Very juicy. And it, I can taste a little bit curry flavor. Mmm. -hmm. Um, that's interesting. That's good. Oh my god, the chicken is so tender. Very moist. This is so good. I don't even need a sauce. The flavor, the, the seasoning is just right. Mm. And then the gnocchi, cooked just right. Fun to eat and delicious. This is a really good dish. I like this a lot. Yum. Tony. The pasta cook authentic. I think I could give you a little bit more meat sauce. That would be even better because the meat sauce is really good. Oh, I want a little bit of Parmesan cheese here. Oh, let's try this. This soup looks like a perfect bite right here. So good. Um, garlic bread? Mm. So buttery. Crispy. Almost like croutons. Still thumbs up. This is not mousse cake. No sugar added with a vanilla sponge cake in the middle that little bit there oh a nice strong um, hazelnut flavor that's good it's so sweet though the mousse is really um, it's really good silky soft there's a hazelnut here that's good
with ice cream, melted ice cream. Ta ta! There you go. Little crust on the side here. Mm. Jam, ice cream. Ooh, this is good. It's like a whole big party going on in your mouth with this one. That's really good. Fancy this thing is. Look at that. It's too pretty to eat. Let me take this one off and try to cut this. Reveal what we'll see it's anything in the middle. Oh my goodness. Look at that. Yum. It's kind of like um, chocolate mousse inside. There you go. Tasty is uh, sugar crunch. I'm oh, sorry. Buttery and puffy inside. And then uh, a good textured uh, taste of the uh, chocolate mousse here. Almost like, almost like melted Nutella. Ooh, I gotta try this. Look, there's the uh, Holland America logo on it. The picture. You see it? What does the CCC stand for? What's that? You say something culinary? Culinary Chef Council. Culinary Chef Council? Yeah. Mm. Time to eat. Mm. Yum. Pretty and delicious. That's really good. Thumbs up. To nice dinner. Excellent. All the dishes from appetizers to main course and um, desserts. Very, everything was good. Excellent night, I think. I think it's better than the uh, dress up night from yes, like yesterday. Overall, like every single dish is like really, really good. Ooh, cheese inside, oozing out. There's some rice in there, maybe? With tomato sauce on top. Lightly crispy outside. The texture, the rice is actually cooked um, just right. It has some bite to it. Mm, and the cheese is really good. These are pretty. Devil eggs. This one has smoked smashed salmon on top, and this one has crab meat on top. Mm -hmm. Classic double eggs. A little bit uh, elegant touch to it with the smoked salmon. I like it. I like it a little bit better with the smoked salmon. A little bit more savory, more salt to it. it Balance out the creaminess light flavor of the uh, devil eggs. It's an uh, elegant look appetizer. Mm. Beet soup. It's almost like they parade the, uh, the beets. And it's warm.
flat iron steak, medium rare. Mmm, nice and tender. Mmm, kind of a little bit um, seared like crispy outside, slightly smoky, and then super tender inside. I like the um, the sauce, the red wine sauce. I can taste the red wine in it. It's good. That's a really good dish. Yum. Cut in half. Ooh, I see some cheese. Just cheese in there, I think. Mexican rice and some salsa. Let's see if I can make the perfect bite here. Mm. It's like a whole party going on. Different texture. Creaminess from the cheese inside. Crunchy, uh, crispy. Crunchy, crispy outside. Like this batter here. And then the rice is really nice. This is a vegetarian dish, just really nice. Yeah. Oh, not this, vegan, but... Not vegan with the, the cheese, but... Oh. I ate something that is like... really spicy. I personally like that a lot, but... Gotta watch out for people who can't eat spicy stuff though, but that's really good. It's like cabbage wrapped with meat inside, ground pork inside, and rice. The ground meat, nice and tender. The cabbage, the cook is like perfect because it still has nice crunch. I like this. And there's a little bit of rice. The rice has good flavor too. It's almost like they cook the rice in a broth or something. That's good. So far, they, I mean, they haven't disappointed me with their, the skills of cooking the salmon. It's always come out like super duper tender. They pick this type of salmon that's like really fatty and it's delicious. There's potato cake. That's a good potato cake. Simple yet delicious. A little crispy outside. sauce here and then that nice whiskey flavor that's good that's dangerously good <laughs> mm, that's so good yum white chocolate ooh can can't resist Okay, got a little bit distracted there. That's moist. I like the uh, two layers of cream in between the uh, cake and then the very top. Ooh, I, this is a this is one of the best velvet cake I've tried. It's very moist. I think some sometimes I find <clears throat> some velvet cake they kind of be kind of too much, too dry and to the big bonus, white chocolate.
look, I can open it. Oh look, a little peek. It's like seafood pie. There's scallops, baby scallop, baby shrimp in there. I saw some cream. Oh, it smells so good. Let me cut it in half so you can kind of see it. This is a nice rich seafood flavor and the pastry is so flaky and buttery. Mm. French onion soup. Look at that. This that giant bread with the cheese. Ooh, I can smell the, the onion is totally caramelized. Sweet, yeah, sweet from the onion. Slight bitterness in the uh, broth. The bread. Ooh, look at that stringy cheese. It's a little bit onion. There you go. I like how it's not too salty. Could have a little bit more cheese, I think would be even better. Not bad. Pretty good. I like the sweetness of the onion in the broth. Very cheesy. It's good. I like these small crunch. It's very cheesy. Oh, I know. Um, asparagus. They give this nice crunch. It's like two two thin slices of uh, eggplant. It's vegetarian, but it's packed with flavor. The rice is also cooked perfectly too. This is an excellent vegetarian dish. Highly recommend. Bit of sweetness. I like the little crust from these uh, pen coals. That is really good. Lamb loin with some spinach underneath. That was a little nice surprise there. You could be a little bit generous with the sauce. Just create a little dot of arts and that's it. and tender. I do like that um, little bit of crust on the uh, top there. Just kind of like um, almost like um, scallop potatoes. Bread crumbs on the top add a nice texture and flavor. I like it. Double thumbs up. They decorate a little differently. It's almost like a steak. Ooh, fresh parsley. Perfect bite right here. Mm. So good. Creamy. The short rib is super tender. And the sauce, that rich flavor of the mushroom, and the creaminess, definitely taste some butter in there too. al dente that's cooked perfectly for me though I have to say the portion wise <laughs> I think you have to I have to have if I only have this one I probably have double this for, to fill me up yeah you need more pasta they need more pasta yeah otherwise oh my goodness this sauce here is sensational that's good
morning. Mm, it's good. Cheesecake is kind of softer than usual, and therefore, and with the meringue, and then the, the lime flavor. But if you tell me it's a key lime pie, I believe you. Oh, it's like a hard cookie here. Oh, it's a thick layer of chocolate. It's kind of like a, a more firm chocolate mousse. I love the uh, contrast texture of the cookie. If you a chocolate lover, you definitely like that. Delicious. Ooh, this feels dense. Mm. To really elevate the flavor is the kick. It hit you with this espresso flavor. And I think there's some kind of either whiskey or rum in here. Oh, this is good. This is my kind of cake. Rich chocolate, creaminess and then that little um, hint of the uh, coffee flavor, espresso, and the alcohol flavor. Double thumbs up for this one. Let's find out what this is. The interesting thing is that it's uh, fruit, but then they put some kind of savory flavor to it like a little bit salty and then it has a little kick to it as well like the spiciness so that's kind of interesting so I'm wondering what kind of cheese this is oh it's really strong um, aroma it's kind of like brie but in much stronger flavor though I like it Pretty unique. And that concludes part two. Stay tuned for the third and final part of the series where we'll explore quite a few fancy dinners, including the goat and blue gala nights. So what do you think about the dishes from part two? Which ones capture your interest the most? We enjoy reading your comments and please do give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Thank you very much, happy cruising, and we'll see you soon in another video.